Okay, so next up in the battle of the departments is uh, <clears throat> the, the Department of Material Science and Professor Jin Ming Yang. And Professor Jin Ming Yang cares so much about the undergraduates. This material science is a special uh, major because it has the ability to give a, a lot of attention to its undergraduates. I was part of, when I, before I became associate dean, I was part of a review panel for that department. And what came out of that review was this sense from the undergraduates of how well treated they are, how much a part of the department, the kind of attention that they get. And just to give you a sense of that, Jin Ming comes in and takes a personal role in making the final admission decisions into the, the department, comes in and we sit down and talk about each student who's on the borderline. It's really interesting. So um, here to tell you about material science is Professor Jin Ming Yang. Thank you and welcome. And every Sunday morning, I try to go to a farmer's market. When you walk by, it, each vendor will tell you that the melon and the strawberry from my field are the sweetest. <laughs> I'm going to tell you that material science engineering is as sweet as any other engineering discipline. <laughs> if you don't believe it, come on, give a try. So most of you in high school may not be that familiar with the field of uh, material science and engineering as compared to other traditional engineering fields such as uh, chemical, civil, mechanical, or electrical engineering. So you may ask, why do we study materials? And what is material science and engineering? To answer the question, let me start by saying that uh, virtually every segment of our daily life is influenced to one degree or another by materials. So in fact, historically, the development and advancement of society have been intimately tied to the members' ability to produce and manipulate materials to fulfill their uh, needs. So uh, materials essentially is the core enabling technology for all the engineering disciplines and is critical to the development of new products. For example, most of you may have iPhone, iPad, or iPad. Just imagine how many materials that we need to use to produce these uh, uh, small devices. It involves metals, ceramic, semiconductor, polymers, as well as composite materials. So at the heart of the material science and engineering discipline is an understanding of the structure of solids from microscopic down to nanoscales. Indeed, much of the recent interest in nanoscience and nanotechnology stems from our ability to manipulate the structure of solids at the nanoscale. So our program offers our undergraduate students the opportunity to learn about many fascinating aspects of materials, including synthesis, processing, property, and performance of advanced materials. And the department is relatively small. However, we are growing. Our research expenditure and our undergraduate populations are at all time high. So we believe the cross linkage of materials science with the important challenge in our society today, such as energy, environment, communication, health, and infrastructure is the most significant reason for the growth of our undergraduate population and will continue to be so in the years ahead. And our undergraduate class size are typically 25 to 35 students. This allows our faculty and students to get to know each other quite well and provide individual attention. Also, the department's commitment to the student does not end with courses. Okay. Our faculties actively involve interested undergraduate students in cutting-edge research projects, which can be arranged as an employment opportunity or for academic credits. So we believe that the material science and engineering department at UCLA can provide you with outstanding and exciting educational opportunity and research experience. Once again, I welcome you to UCLA, and I look forward to having more in-depth discussion with you. Thank you. Okay, last but not least, 
Professor Adrian Levine, Chair of the Department of Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering, and let me tell you a little bit about Adrian. Adrian um, was former, just came off of being Chair of the Academic Senate of UCLA, sort of leading the faculty of the entire UCLA campus before she became Chair of the Mechanical and Eng Aerospace Engineering Department. And as Chair of the Mechanical Engineer and Aerospace Engineering Department, she's taken a great interest in making sure that, so let's face it, mechanical and aerospace engineering is a popular major and lots of students want to do it. And it can be a big job to make sure that all those students get the classes that they need to graduate. But Adrian takes a, a detailed interest in each class, making sure that we accommodate those students to make sure that they can graduate on time. And that kind of attention to undergraduate you know, success and making sure that it's going to happen is something that, that is, a, is a hallmark of the Mechanical Engin Aerospace Engineering Department. And here to tell you about it is Adrian Levine. Thank you, Rick. Thanks for noticing. <laughs> so our department houses two majors, Mechanical Engineering, which is, I'd say, the broadest major in the school, and Aerospace Engineering, which is probably the most focused. Mechanical Engineering addresses motion and energy. So if you think of all the engineered systems that involve either motion or energy, well, they're countless. I mean, familiar things like automobiles, but, but also exotic micro-machines, uh, the flow of blood in an artificial heart, um, power plants, emerging alternative energy systems, and, and much more. That's the broad domain of a mechanical engineer. And just about any industry that employs engineers will employ mechanical engineers. And then we have aerospace engineering, which addresses aircraft and spacecraft, very focused. I think nothing captures the imagination more than flight and space exploration. That's something students can be really passionate about, like Megan MacArthur, who you see in the picture uh, bit, uh, behind me. Uh, Megan is a UCLA aerospace engineering alumna from 1993. And that photo was taken last May when Megan flew on the, the final space shuttle mission to service the Hubble Space Telescope. So whether you're interested in aerospace engineering like Megan or mechanical engineering like me, uh, the, the strong fundamental education that you'll receive at UCLA will not only prepare you to, to improve upon familiar engineered systems like cars and planes, but it will also enable you to continue to learn throughout your lifetime, always remaining at the cutting edge, and, and to attend graduate school should you choose so that you can contribute to knowledge like our faculty and graduate students do, and to conceive of and create innovative solutions to the world's truly pressing problems. So our students are fantastic. They are bright, hardworking, motivated, creative, collaborative, probably sounds a lot like you. And, and they, they come to UCLA with a little knowledge and a great desire to learn how to analyze and create devices and processes that will benefit humanity or maybe just make our lives a little more interesting. Um, our students don't only learn from their distinguished colleagues in, in their, in the, I mean, from their distinguished faculty in the classrooms, but from the bright students around them. And um, many of them seize the opportunity to do research in faculty labs. Uh, many have summer internships in industry. And others get involved in engineering projects that are sponsored by our student societies, the American Society of Mechanical Engineers, the American Institute of Aeronautics and Astronautics, the Society of Automotive Engineers, and UCLA Robotics. In fact, when Megan was at UCLA, she um, took part in a team that designed, built, and raced a two-person um, submersible, a flooded submersible, and she has described that experience as having been crucial to her education. When you come to our departmental open house later, you'll meet the students who are working on projects like that. You'll see how creative and dynamic our students are. So come and come to UCLA, join them, and, and take part in some of that excitement. And um, so I really look forward to seeing you later. I, I wanted to take care of one small piece of business. At our departmental open house, we're going to be splitting the group into two halves by letter of the alphabet. Everyone come to Young Hall, and then we'll instruct you. But ha the first half of the alphabet will go into our information session, while the second half has lunch and mingles with students and alumni and faculty, and then we'll switch to the two groups. So I'll see you there. Thank you.